Hi there. Hi there. Today I'm gonna make a small bait fish using uh, some of this really really cool new grizzly grizzly flesh abu from uh, from Petron. So first off, since this is a small bait fish, I'm just gonna make sure I have a decent uh, amount of uh, a decent base for for my materials. We're not gonna use that many, but we're gonna use a few. And first of all, uh, most uh, most bait fish are not really truly uh, <laughs> truly bait fish patterns if they don't contain bucktail. So we start off uh, with uh, with the belly of uh, of this of this bait fish and just use a bit of uh, a bit of bucktail. And um, what I find on on many of these bait fish patterns I see around is is very often I think there is loads and loads and loads too much material on many of these. So simply, simply in order to make this looks uh, uh, make a bait fish look uh, well uh, um, lifelike in the water, simply, simply. Uh, uh, it needs to have a, a bit fewer materials uh, than than what you would actually think. So I just start off with with a small amount of of bucktail here, uh, in white, like so. This is simply gonna be, uh, well, gonna be basic, just gonna be the base of uh, of this uh, this pattern here. Like so, I'm gonna cut that off. And uh, the bucktail here will help uh, keep uh, keep the rest of materials uh, the rest of the materials uh, in place uh, because it's a bit stiff. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, some of this very transparent uh, supreme hair, uh, also from Hedron. Um, not much. I'm going to cut it off all the way up at the end uh, because this way I can simply I can I can easily control how much I actually use. I'm gonna make sure the ends here are not completely uniform in length. And I'm gonna tie some of this down. I'm gonna tie this down further up here. Around there. And uh, this is the way you can actually... I'm gonna build the fly here. Maybe I should put it a bit more over there so for you to see. So I'm building the fly here. Oh, oops! <laughs> uh, I think I have had not uh, tied this on firmly enough. I'm just gonna go do that now, like so. So this is gonna be kind of like um, uh, be part of the body here and uh, and uh, and and cover the bucktail as well. So this is this adds transparency to to this pattern, uh, which is a good thing because uh, there is no bait fish out there in the oceans that is not uh, transparent because all of those that weren't transparent are eaten. <laughs> it's as simply as that. Um, so uh, basically, it takes some and, and then simply, simply, I'm, I'm gonna simply build this a bit up. So I'm taking a bundle here that is a bit uh, a, a bit shorter, again, like so. So I have long and then a bit shorter to to make this um, to make this a bit more bulkier towards the middle and towards the head, which is also how how a bait fish really looks like that. And um, and uh, then I'm going to take a little more bucktail, only a tiny tiny amount here because uh, it will simply be. Good looking, and it will it will help t help taper and make this uh, this pattern um, uh, looks like the real deal, and that's important. Just a small amount here, like that. As you can see, it tapers a bit, and then I have. A, uh, I'm not gonna have any. Uh, not gonna have any body or anything on this because that simply, simply often looks simply too too bulky and too too out of place on on flies like this. Like so. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be completely like it's supposed to be. And then I'm gonna take. Uh, I want to, I want to add a little flash, so I'm taking some uh, some winged flash here in silver. Not much again, a small amount, because otherwise this will simply not be credible. This will this will be too bulky for for the fish. 
just a small amount here simply to add a bit of shine nothing else just a bit of shine uh, some of this is perhaps a bit long I'm gonna cut that off afterwards like that just you know tin or something like that tin strand something like that and then to finish this off then I'm gonna make something that is a bit more more dark to to cover the back and there I'm gonna take some again a material that's very very alive I'm gonna take some of this new flesh in uh, in uh, in grizzly and uh, I'm not gonna have a lot of this uh, because a lot of this will simply spoil the rest of the pattern but I'm gonna have a little and this needs again not to be completely even but it needs to be not you know not one that is f 10 centimeters none that not one that is 15 but something like this and I'm simply gonna place this on top here simply to add some contrast to the top part of the fly uh, because that is how these bait fish look. They are dark from uh, from above, and uh, and they are uh, they are white from beneath. Simply to to be camouflaged. That was a bit too little, I think. I'm gonna cut off this, and I'm gonna use this again to. Oh crap! I did it again. <laughs> I'm not Britney Spears though, but. <laughs> uh. I I accidentally pulled it out before I was uh, okay. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Okay, I'm gonna say it. I actually p pulled it out before I was finished. <laughs> oh, I'm just a marvel of. Oh uh, yeah. Well, you know what I mean. So, once more like this. Use a bit more force this time to make sure it stays there. Like that. And you could simply just turn this over, but I don't think that's a, the best idea right now, so I'm just going to cut it off and then tie it down again. And there you have it. Um, something that really, really looks a lot like a bait fish. Um, it's not completely done, of course. I need to cut off some stuff and add some UV curing glue and stuff like that. And I need to locate my scissors. They were there. If you spotted them before I did, please leave a, <laughs> leave a comment in the comment box. <laughs> like so. And then uh, we are about to finish. I'm just going to take some... 3D eyes here and some UV curing glue. I had my eyes right here just a second ago. Oh, my disc is a mess. I'm sorry about that. Where did you go, little eyes? I know you were here. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Haha! <laughs> I found them! And I'm gonna use a fairly small eye for, for this because. Uh, well, this is uh, this is not that big a fly. This is something that would be very very efficient on uh, on the Danish coastline, uh, for instance. Um, um, what we could do is we could. I think I'm gonna try that actually. Then I need to get some other eyes. Four. Here they are. I'm gonna use these. These are pro, uh, new pro eyes, and they uh, they work very great for for flies like this because you can simply tie them on, um, and that gives you uh, a, a hell of a lot easier uh, job when uh, when you need to apply the the super glue. Oh, this looks good. Just gonna tie this on right there. So when you have fastened it, uh, the eyes. Uh, with the, with the tying thread, it's way way easier to uh, to apply the uh, 
the glue uh, the glue correctly to 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 actually make the head to f to taper the head. Like so. Gonna cut off this front part that's that's not needed. Like so. And actually, you could go fishing with this as it is now. Uh, I like to I like to to finish it a bit uh, a bit more than this. So I'm gonna take some UV curing glue here, and uh, and I'm gonna use the UV curing glue to to actually make a head. First of all, I'm gonna have to make a whip finish, of course. Like that. Then I simply apply the UV curing glue as soon as it has run down to the bottom of my... I use the Buck Bond here. The Buck Bond is, is, is a nice product. I'm very happy with it. I use that a lot. And the cool thing about UV glue is of course you can apply a little and then add the add the torch and uh, and everything is is exactly how you want it to be so you don't mess it up like with epoxy because with epoxy you have to be <laughs> you know very fast or very slow depending on how much curing time what what type of epoxy you're using So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just you know, I'm just making the head and I'm sorry this spins in and out of focus but uh, there's nothing actually I can do about that you can see the the finished result but you you get the drift I think see here that I apply the glue uh, in a slow not too fast pace to ensure that my glue here is uh, in the proper per, in the proper place before I before I uh, before I I cure it with the light. And the more time you take doing this, the better your fly, of course, will look. The hook here maybe is a bit big. Yeah, this is a size four. You could have gone down to a size, let's say a size, uh, a size, uh, a size six for this pattern. But uh, but uh, well, I'm I'm pretty. F this will just mean that the big fish will also be hooked. <laughs> so a small fast bait fish. Um, uh, using uh, using uh, the new pro eyes and uh, and the new uh, the new uh, flesh abu uh, grizzly flesh abu. <laughs> I'm coming for you, sea trout. Rah!